you see, I'm cleaning up here, getting ready for a meeting. <laughs> they just got done. It was a very busy day. Did a crown prep progress exam. Took a bunch of new parts shares on a tour over here. Now we're getting ready for a meeting we have tonight. So the pizza man is here in the basement with like 30 bucks of pizza. So I'm cleaning up right now so I can go grab them. We've got 25 minutes to the meeting. Let's go up there, make sure we have everything in order. Make sure all officers are good, know what to do. The speaker's there, food is there. We'll make this a great event to remember. <laughs> meeting time. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for coming out. So before we get started, make sure Nusho's handing out these papers. Make sure you got a packet of these papers and fill it out. Your AGD membership dues are being paid from the Dallas Fellowship Track. So they pay for your dues. He, he's great. He's like super involved. Yeah. Likes to, you know, make sure everyone's party. happy. No, I'm just kidding. He does a party. He's cool. He's a great leader. He's going to be a great dentist someday, you know? Check. <laughs> Talked about about AGD, so we would love for you to attend. And remember, we got this uh, raffle drawing in November. If you Great turnout to the meeting. Now the best part is saying bye to everybody, getting to know the new D ones who come in. So talking amongst people. So I'm gonna get to know some more people, learn who they are, and talk and stuff. woke up this morning at 6 30 my younger brother's still sleeping on the bed i usually like to do my morning routine and we're gonna get started so i woke up had some water make my bed that's the biggest thing of the day and now we're gonna go pray let's go Okay, so I just finished the first prayer of the day. We typically pray five times a day. The first one's before the sun rises, so I just did that to usually start off my day. And now I'm gonna get in my exercise clothes and then finish up my morning routine. But the strange thing is often we're quite good at being kind to others, but we're really quite unkind towards ourselves. The sensations or the mood, but just noticing. Okay, so I typically always have some type of morning routine and I recommend it to everybody else. If you ever wanna be successful, you always have to have a great morning. I try to meditate for 10 minutes and that makes you makes me very relaxed throughout the day. There's not gonna be one day you'll see me stressed at all, usually because of the praying and the meditating and stuff helps out a lot. And then I'll go to the gym and I'll do my morning cardio. Let's go to the gym. Show the ladies your six pack. They're not ready for it yet. Ready for the guns? So before I leave anywhere, I always like to say a little prayer. 
uh, it's a prayer in Arabic, which always makes it safe and everything. So I'm gonna say that prayer and then start my day. One of the first things I also do in the morning is I usually will call up my mom. It's always great to talk to her in the morning, in the beginning of the day. So let's call her up and see what she's up to. Talk to your parents. It's always good. And now we're almost at the gym. Let's get our mood ready for the gym. Let's get hyped up. We're improving. So I'm gonna write this down and keep it as a note so that I'm monitoring my numbers. I just got done with morning cardio and now let's go get some breakfast. So any ladies in your life? <laughs> a bunch of friends. Nothing nothing really serious serious yet. Is that just not your thing? No serious <laughs> relationships? No, it is um but I guess just not right now. Very soon though. So usually my breakfast either ranges depending on how much time I have in the morning. It's a weekend so I'll make some type of omelet and healthy stuff. Usually if I'm running, I'm never running really super late, but sometimes I'll just grab like a, a protein shake or a meal replacement shake and it's a lot easier. But it's a Saturday morning, so we're gonna enjoy our breakfast today. As you know, I'm in my fourth year dental school. This is the year where you start thinking about what you want to do after school, if you want to go work for somebody, for a corporate place, or you want to make your own clinic or buy a clinic out. I'm in the process of trying to figure it out. So there's some great mentors out there that I like to call and I ask tips from them. So a great guy I'm going to talk to is Junior Osinde. He graduated a few years back from our school and he did a startup practice. So I'm going to talk to him and get some advice from him to see how he did it and any tips he has for me. So, let's give him a call. Please leave your message. Oh boy, you say nine o'clock. Okay, so he's probably busy in his clinic or something. So I'll probably call him back a little later on today and talk to him about everything. We are going to school right now. It's a Saturday morning. I have a little bit of lab work to do. In my fourth year, I really don't have too much lab work because I did a lot of it last year for my patients and stuff. So just a little bit of stuff to do. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you what my lab looks like, the grind, and then we'll get to our board setting. This is where all the magic happens. This is my lab. I've got all these boxes over here for all my patients. $1,200 right here. These glasses, expensive. Let's put them on charge so we can get ready for the rest of the week. Hey, what's up, Junior? Pretty good. I want to ask you to talk to you a little bit. So I'm thinking about like my post grad plans and stuff right now. Come back here and work a little bit, maybe uh, take over someone's. 
that's the worst for it. Like, that's going to be, like, the biggest issue mm-hmm. is your team figure out, where you're like, okay, that made a mistake there, whatever, move on. But, like, it's, make it temporary quickly. Can you assist me and, like, do multi in the problem? Just got done talking to this guy. So it's great having mentors. Like, you don't want to make the mistakes other people did. So all you have to do is find some people who've done what you want to do. Just ask them, how do they do it? Now we're going to finish up some of the slab work and then go start setting for boards. That was nothing but net. Just got done with the lab work now. Now we're gonna go get some lunch and go start setting for the boards. Now it's 11.36, this is the time I usually will call my family, everyone, to make sure everybody's awake. So let's give my brother a call. He's a third year dental student in Houston. Main preset, dialing. Looks like he's sleeping in today. Hey, it's Tom. Hi, You awake? Yeah, I've been awake. We're actually falling saying got a whole bunch of stuff to get in. We like two crushes and stuff. Oh, good. Volunteering. Good. What is this for? Yeah. Alright. 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 Peace. See, the boy is learning. He's volunteering now. What a good, good, kind person. I, uh, I grew up in Mount Pleasant, Texas. And throughout my life, my parents had a gas station business. So. A lot of times when I was a kid, we'd have to work in the store. It was a great experience. Actually, we did everything from like mopping and the register. And there were some summers where my parents would go to visit like our home country. And I would be in charge of managing the whole store. It gave me a lot of business experience uh, talking to these vendors and like our employees managing people. That's very big. In dental school, you learn all about how to do a crown or a filling or surgery but they don't teach you the, the people skills. Anytime you can do something to get that better, it's great. But at the end of the day, you're, it's a service industry, so you're working on people, so you have to be great with people. Are you saying that you already have those people skills? I like to think so. <laughs> I can always improve them and stuff, but that's what I try to do in school. Every time I have a patient at the end of our treatment or whatever, I'll always ask them like, hey, was there anything I could have done to be better dental wise or as a person. And the tips they give me here and there, I use those so I can go out and try and practice one day and just be the best I can be. You got, you're going to do your study session? You're going to do my good stuff. You're doing the study session? Huh? Yeah. Sure. All right, we got the card now. Let's see if, <laughs> let's see if I look like him. <laughs> let's see if they'll buy it. The semester after I got accepted to dental school, when I knew I was in, every day I'd, I'd ball here. Hey man, can I get a basketball? Or is yeah. it up there? Yeah. 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 Good to take study breaks and do something you like doing so getting the heart rate up having fun it's the best type of break you can do now we're gonna get back on the grind and study for boards so i try to use my brother's card to reserve a room in my alma mater over here in utd but the lady confiscated my card saying <gasps> It's not mine and I couldn't use it to get in the room. So now we're just gonna go around in this library and try to find a place to study quietly.
Now I'm gonna go back to my apartment, relax for a little bit, and then get back on studying, and then change later on tonight, and then go to the movies and relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this one test two weeks ago. It was kind of like that. About to go watch Crazy Rich Asians with some friends. It should be a fun night. It's been a great day. It's Friday afternoon, five o'clock, time to call it a day. It's one of those weeks you go home and you're like, you know what? I put in great work this week. Uh, long story short, I had another day. I had another patient of mine move to a different day. So it worked out great. Uh, okay. Thank you. You're Plus, you're the best I've ever seen. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> you always have to ask some classmates here and there. You gotta get some favors and stuff when you can to move some patients around. So I did all that and it worked out. Oh, you also want to see something cool? It's a great idea from some of my friends. When you don't have enough food in the clinic, when you don't have a chance to eat, oh my God. come in here with the... What locker this is a stash locker. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> oh man, he's, the, he's, he's one of the nicest guys I know, right? Hey. So it's 7 a.m. this morning. I'm here at Seventh Day Adventist Church, and we're doing a dental mission trip all day today. As you can see behind me, there are hundreds of people waiting out there for free dental work. We're gonna work from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. doing free cleanings, screenings, uh, extractions and fillings and anything else they need us to do. So let's get to it, these people are waiting. So we're here at a dental mission trip. We've been working all day long from 7 a.m. and we're grinding through. Been seeing a lot of patients every day over here today. And we got a little lunch break, so now we're gonna finish up and probably work the next three, four hours. Alright, let's get to work. You're about to get on the ride. How do you mentally prepare yourself to get on this thing? Just don't think about it too much. <laughs> the more you think about it, the less you want to go on it. It was 60 coupons first, but we negotiated all the way down to 40 with the good on negotiation skill. Okay. Which is my single friend. All right, y'all got any last words? <laughs> Sometimes you just have to do it. Don't think too hard about it. Yeah, um, D1 is terrible, so why not? <laughs> God, please bless their soul. <laughs> County Dental Society meeting. It was a networking event today. So we, all of us fourth year dental students were here talking to a bunch of dentists in the real world. And we got some mentorship experience from them and learned some great tips and stuff. Like, what'd you think? I had a good time, learned a lot. Us had some good comments in there and good questions. We answered them all. <laughs> Overall pretty good. Yep. yep. <laughs> One more stop, and then we'll hit the Maz game. 
So today, uh, corporate dental chain is inviting fourth year dental students to the Mavs game. And it's like a chance for the chain to kind of convince dental students to join them and work for them and stuff. I'm not one to say no to a Mavs game. So talk to some people, um, enjoy the Mavs game, get some free food and drinks and all. Parked by my friend's apartment. Now we're just walking over there. You can start hearing the crowd. Hopefully everybody's coming in. Excited for the Mavs. It's gonna be a fun night. We're a little down, but the Mavs are keeping it up. We're trying. Let's go. I like these. Mavs game is going on right now, but it's time to pray. It's saw it near the sunset time. It's usually the fourth prayer of the day. So usually what you have to do is find a place to pray. So right now, even though the game is going on, I'm gonna go find a quick place to pray and get my prayer in and then come back and finish up the game. Unfortunately, the Mavs lost to the Jazz. Not the, uh, the game final results I was expecting, but it was a fun game. Got to hang out with everybody, which was fun. Now I'm gonna go back home. And we got some free journals and stuff, which is good. Oh, Chill, bro. How are you good? Yeah, how was the game? Did we win? We, we lost. <laughs> behind me there's all this old dental technology we used to have x-rays that are digital we've got laser dentistry and it's just a huge advancement so sometimes just looking back here and seeing what we started with in like the 1970s and 60s it's fascinating get ready get my face and everything going and then
So what's the rest of the plans? Is someone coming today? I don't know. I, I have think, no idea. I know Zweb got in the hospital. I think he should be okay now. Yeah, but I know. I think Ava's still there. Zoe, are you going to go back to school now? I'm planning on, planning on leaving Sunday. You feeling good about it? Uh, no, not really. I would relax and just stay home if you could. Uh, you know, I'm taking it easy. <laughs> I have one test I have to do on Thursday, and the professor didn't let me move it. Well, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you help out, like, put my feet a little higher? Yeah. Here, can you just... Look. Right. Try and lift. Can you lift? Lift, lift. Uh, that's good. That's good? We'll laugh yeah. about it one day. Think yeah. back at the memories. It's a conversation starter. Oh, yeah. So good. I told someone, I was telling my mom or my cousin, I was like, you know, at least bring me some dumbbells. I can't work out my lower voice, but at least I should be able to work out the upper voice since I'm just laying in bed all day. Yeah, it's true. Someone commented, is this a movie yet? Or like, something like that. So it's been about one week since the incident. I'm back home in Mount Pleasant, Texas. My parents and friends and family have been taking care of me very well. It's changed my outlook on a lot of things in life. It's one of those things where you don't know it could happen to you or you don't appreciate your body parts as much until something like this happens. I'm blessed to be alive now. I'm blessed that like, you don't count your blessings enough. It's, it was very sad. I'm, not, I'm a very optimistic type of guy. I never am one to cry or anything, but the few days following the injury, I was in a very depressed state. Just asking myself like, what did I do to deserve this? Is God punishing me? Or did I get cursed or something? Walking it through, thinking about it, talking to everybody. I figured, you know, it's maybe all part of God's big plan. Or there's probably a bigger thing. I probably won't know soon, but there's some good benefit to what happened. Stuff happened in life. Now you just got to look at, you know, being, being alive. Look at all the positive outlooks of life. So I'm glad. Hopefully I'll walk one day again and it'll be good. So I don't remember a lot of the things that happened, but one thing is I remember waking up in the mosque right underneath the mountain and I was screaming, I was yelling. I was like, everything is burning. And then the guy, the doctor, he came to me and asked, look at me, look at my eyes. And I kept on yelling at him. I was like, go check my brother Hussain's hands. Go check Hussain's hands. I kept on asking him about his hands because I knew that his hands are, is what is useful for him to become a dentist. It's what he uses to craft. He helped me so much coming down the mountain. He helped calm me down. He helped him and Umjad, the other dental student, were both like holding my arms, helping me down the mountain. Without them, um, if they weren't there, I wouldn't be alive right now. It was like five great days, <clears throat> followed by the worst day ever, making the trip bad. But if you forget the last day of the incident... Oh yeah, everyone was saying it was The like rest a... of the trip, with all the people that were there, all the, the new people we met, the places we went to... Probably one of the best trips I went to. It's funny, I even two weeks ago or like a month ago, I rode a, a ride at the state fair that was super crazy and I don't even double think it anymore. But now, I, I'm a little f afraid now. I'm like, you know, would I ride a ride like that again? What are the odds of me getting hurt? And they're probably higher now, or in my head they are. But it's like yesterday, it rained yesterday and it thunderstormed. And it was one me and you, we were in the bed sheets or whatever, laying. Every time it would thunder, we would shiver and cover our heads. Like, I'm never afraid of thunder or anything, really. But for some reason, that rainstorm just got to us. And maybe one day it'll go away. But still, I know we still have that mental thing. This is what they have. It's the menu. <laughs> no, I know. But like, if you call them up, they'll tell you if you want the like the options without meat. One sec, bro. One sec. One sec. One sec. One sec. One sec. One sec.
You feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm feeling when I hear, then I was really, really upset. But then I say, no, God is very nice with me. And I say, no, thanks God. He give me again my son. He give me his life again. And I'm positive person and say, thanks God. He have a, he is a good boy. God, he give me retain my son. I hope he will be better. And everybody pray, everybody pray. And I think everything's about the God. It depends on God. But my mind is satisfied. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm glad he is back and he is back in home. And he will be good will soon, very soon, early as possible. <laughs> that's a, that's pretty sad. <laughs> making me sad. <laughs>